everyone, it's Finger Skate Selective here. Today, I'm gonna tell you how to make an FSS sticker. It's two. What? Two Finger Tuesday. It's two, two. What? Two Finger Tuesday. What? Two Finger Tuesday. Finger Skate Selective. Two Finger Tuesday. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you make FSS stickers? I think before I told you that I bought them online, well, that's not necessarily true. I feel bad about lying to you guys, so today I'm going to tell you how to make an FSS sticker. So what you'll need, a little flower pot with a drain hole at the bottom, preferably. You'll need 10 flakes of Cocoa Pebbles. And uh, just a side note here, Cocoa Pebbles make an original, Fruity Pebbles make a remix, and if you mix them up, ugh, there's a good chance you might not get either. Maybe a Yo-Yay, I'm not sure. So you need 10 flakes of Cocoa Pebbles, a pot and what you do is you just drop the tin in there tin flakes make sure it's tin make sure you get all of them in there missed one okay now the hard part you need an FSS sticker seed they're very tiny they're very hard to find they're usually right in the center of a dandelion and bees usually eat them so maybe every 100 dandelions that you check might have one still left in it then you drop the seed in there and now you wait three months so uh, yeah we'll check back in in three months and we'll see what happens Homie, it's Finger Skate Selective. We're back. Been about three, three months and two days, I believe. And, and as you can see, here it is, an original sticker. Just wipe the uh, Cocoa Pebble dust off, and there you have it, an original sticker. And another thing, just a side note here, you'll notice there's no more Cocoa Pebbles inside. That's because they're right here. That's what made the sticker, so it's pretty cool. If you use exactly 10 Cocoa Pebbles, you'll end up with a sticker, nothing more, nothing less. So it does take a while, but it is cool. And now that I think about it, back on the day when I filmed me, planting this one. I believe I planted a new batch in my grow room, so wait a minute. June, July, August 20... Yeah, so if you guys want I'll take you to my grow room and show you a bigger batch, and yeah, here we go. Alright guys, so here we are in my little grow room. Let me go ahead and turn on some more lights and yeah, here they are. Been exactly three months. They look pretty good. Just wipe some of the Cocoa Pebble dust. Oh look! A remix. Very rare. And the reason we have a remix here is evidently there was a Fruity Pebble in with the Cocoa Pebbles, so sometimes that happens and then you get a remix so that's pretty cool so the first thing I do is go through and pick them and wipe the dust off of them each one and then I stack the pots for the uh, next batch so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll cut to the next uh, procedure so yeah here we go alright so after I pick each one and I wipe all the cocoa pebble dust off and make sure they're clean then I go through and I trim the excess material off the edges like that because you don't want too much on there and as you can see right here we get quite a few edge pieces so you want to clean those off all the way and then I go through and I wipe out each pot with a little paper towel I already did that but you want to clean them out and uh, stack them up for your next batch once you get more FSS sticker seeds or something then you'll be ready so yeah once you trim all your edges then you can uh, put them in baggies and sell them or just sell them as is they're really cool or if you grew them uh, to put on your own fingerboard there you go you got your own little uh, sticker stash there so yeah FSS stickers grow some today what FSS, FSS comment, comment contest, contest. Frankie Fingerton. Bye. I'll push